Viewer discretion is advised. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to LSPDFR. Today we're going to be back with the Illinois State Police Department and this awesome CVPI made by Alan JR12. It's a pretty sweet looking CVPI. It's not an ELS one, but we made it ELS with a, just throwing in a VCF under the slot. So that's what the lights look like there. It's a Valor light bar, which is really not prototypical to Illinois, but it still looks pretty badass nonetheless. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of Valors, but this one actually does look pretty cool. Like it's it's really thin. It's it's thinner than the uh, other ones that they have out for F4, which is what I like about it. It's not too thick. It's not big and bulky. Like I've seen the Valor on some vehicles, way too damn bulky for me. So that's what I like about this vehicle. If you guys are wondering about the Caprice that you've never actually seen it before, I used it a while back in one of my videos. It's a private model that was sent to me by J.J. Dawkins, so I don't think he's actually working on it anymore. Um, if he is, I don't know about it, but it was sent back to me a while ago. I'm not going to be able to give it out to any of you guys, so it is a private model, so please do not ask for it. The only reason why we're using the CBPI today is because I enjoy that scheme on it. This is probably one of my favorite ISP schemes that they have. I don't like the new one, one with the white, with just what they have on the door there. I don't know. It's just too bland for me. I like this scheme better, but... Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be enforcing what's called the move over law. I know it's in Illinois. I'm assuming it's in the rest of the 50 states that the in the United States. But basically it's a law where if there's like an emergency vehicle on the shoulder or like a department of transportation vehicle or even an abandoned vehicle, the law says that you have to move over to the next lane. So if they're in the shoulder, you move over to the left lane. If they're in the median, you move over to the right lane. Or if you cannot are unable to move over, you slow down 20 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour underneath the posted speed limit. Now, I got this idea from a Facebook post that they, uh, the Illinois State Police shared. If you guys just follow Illinois State Police, there's actually Illinois State Police for, um, like, as a whole, as a department. And there's also, like, between their districts and stuff, so like District 6, whatever. They do that to do, like, traffic updates and stuff. They also have Twitter for each district. And, like I said, they do that for, like, if there's traffic updates, for, like, if there's a crash on the interstate they'll tell you like hey blah blah there's a crash westbound on 57 or northbound on 57 something like that so that you can try to avoid the area take alternate or you expect delays and whatnot same thing with the facebook they'll post pictures and stuff but the one thing that they kind of did i kind of saw it a while back was they were enforcing something called the move over law so i kind of thought that that'd be cool because what i saw was what they did they're kind of bouncing back and forth the troopers were one was on a traffic stop and there was one behind it making sure that people were moving over and whoever didn't move over they went after so that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. Um, it's not sure how it's going to turn out in GTA since I've never actually done something like this before. Where I'm not accepting, really accepting calls. I'm not the one on a traffic stop. I'm just going to be basically putting the Caprice in, spawning a different vehicle on a traffic stop. That's basically what it's going to be. Not going to lie. So you're not going to see any other officers. You kind of see that the, the Caprice is empty. You're not going to see any other officers. You're not going to see any occupants. We're just going to role play it out as the officers in the vehicle. But we're going to be looking for people that don't want to move over or don't slow down. So let's see how this is going to turn out. I hope you guys do enjoy the episode. Let's get right into it. All right, we got that dominator right there. Did not comply with the move over loss. So I'm going to go stop it. Just up ahead here. It's having a hard time catching up to it. He's really going. He's really speeding. Going about 80 miles an hour in a 70. 241 traffic. Roger that. 28 is going to be 64 David Tom Victor 097 on a uh, black dominator. Target vehicle license plate 64 David Victor 097 no 1099. Jeff 4 dispatch. I have a report of shots fired at a taxi near the airport. Show me out 1038 with that vehicle. We're going to be southbound 13 on the left side, on the median, just saw the cutoff here at the uh, U-Tool. Vehicle's gonna be occupied at one time. Roger that. Hey man, oh I forgot the damn hat. All right, hey man, how's it going? Trooper Adrian with the Illinois State Police Department. Reason for the stop today is because back over there when you saw that officer on a traffic stop, you do not move over to the left lane or slow down 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour underneath the post speed limit. Are you aware that there is a law in Illinois called the move over law? 
You do not. All right, well, basically what the law is, whenever you see a emergency vehicle or a police vehicle on the side of the road or any type of vehicle, you move over to the left-hand lane if you can't and slow down 20 miles an hour below the post speed limit. Uh, do you have your license registration proof insurance on you? All right, Mr. Severano, appreciate it. Uh, where are you coming from today, man? You coming from the grocery store? Or where are you messing me? Where are you headed to? You gonna go run? Some, so you came from the grocery store. You gonna run some more errands? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, is the address on your license current or today? Yes. All right, then sit tight with sit tight. I'll be right back with you, man. Two forty one dispatch twenty seven twenty nine check Enzo Severano eleven one two ninety nine eighty six. So he's valid, no warrants. So it looks like it's gonna be a simple citation, basically. I don't actually have like a move over ticket in, so it's just kind of gonna be a failure to yield ticket, basically. All right, man. Since today we are out here doing some enforcement on the move over law, you said you didn't know about it, but I'm not gonna. I'm not able to cut you a break today, unfortunately. We're gonna do um. Uh, what's it called? What would it be? I don't even think I have it. Wait there. Hold it. So today we're gonna charge you with it's um. Technically, it's not a anything in here, but we're gonna kind of run it as running a red light, which is kind of gonna be like running the red lights or move over lock type thing. I don't have one that's a failure to yield at all here, except like failure to yield a pedestrian or failure to yield at a yield intersection, which could be it. Failure to yield at a yield intersection, we'll call it that. Failure to yield for the police, which is like on um, move over lock kind of sort of thing. That's what we'll kind of call it as. Alright man, so it's going to be a $90 ticket today. I'm not going to seize your vehicle. It'll be one point to your record. Um, let's go ahead and make sure you take care of that 9 It's only a $9 ticket. It's on less than 100 so it shouldn't be too bad for you. Make sure you go ahead and take care of that court for you. Like I said, we are out here enforcing with the move over law. So just make sure. See, and as you can see, everyone's moving in the left-hand lane. We're not moving, yielding to us at all. So it's kind of the worst part, but make sure you check it out here. There is a number on, there is a number on the citation you can call between any time, any day between 9 to 5. Just uh, make sure you get that taken care of, right? All right, man. Have a good day. I got my eye on you. All right. All right. Two forty one count or two forty one state. Show me code four off of that ten eight. Be available for more. So right now we're gonna head back to my uh, actual spot with the other uh, trooper unit, and we'll see what else we can get into out here today. There's one right there, that Bravado Dispatch, Buffalo. Not sure why there's a random bike out in the middle of the highway. So we do have that bison right there that did not move over. So we're going to go ahead and light it up here, offer this uh, guy to speak to him, see if he knows about the law as well. 241 traffic. 104. 1028 check, uh, IL 2840J at John Adam Zebra 748. Suspect's license plate 40 John Adam Zebra 748. A traffic violation. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. 104 dis 10 dispatch. Uh, show me out 1038 with that vehicle. Southbound 13. Just right in front of the gas station at 24 7. It's going to be one gray four-door Bravado Buffalo. Occupied two times. Or one time. All right, I'm going to approach on the passenger side here. See if he knows about the move over law, all that fun stuff. Go hand on the hip here just in case. Hey, man, you mind rolling down that window for me? Well, that's the same company that was on that last traffic stop. What's up, man? Uh, agent with the Illinois State Police today. Reason for the stop today is because uh, you did not move over back over there when that trooper was on the traffic stop. You didn't move over, so 20 mile an hour before the supposed speed limit. Did you know about that law at all? You did not? All right, well, it's called the move over law, and like I just said, basically you uh, have to move over for moving to the left lane for any, or move to the opposite lane for any uh, emergency vehicle on the side of the road, or even like any DOT vehicle or any vehicle on the side of the road. Or, as well as, if you can't move over to your left-hand lane or right-hand lane, make sure you go ahead 20 miles an hour below the posted speed limit. You did fail to do that today. 
You didn't know that was a law? Alright, man. Hey, do you have your license registration proof of insurance on you today? Daniel. Alright, thank you, Mr. Dimitri. Um, let me ask you a couple questions. Where are you coming from today? Lights are bright. Can you turn them off? No, I can't actually turn them off because they're for my safety and for in yours. Alright, where are you headed to? Hmm. Alright, um, you don't know where you're headed to? It's kind of, okay. How's the address on your license current? I actually just moved out. I've been so busy, I haven't got it changed. Alright, that, that's no problem, man. That's no problem. You do realize you have 30 days to do that, correct? You do? Alrighty. Um, go ahead, sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. I'm just going to run some information into my dispatch, and uh, we'll get back to you, alright? 241 State, 2729 Check, Daniel Dimitri, 819, 1981. So he's valid, no warrants, but I did, like, send some odor of alcohol and stuff like that off of him, so we're going to see what's going on with that. All right, so everything checks back clean for you, but I do have a couple more questions for you. Um, are you aware that you're driving on expired insurance today? That run out? Dang it, suppose you got when you better get it renewed. Yeah, you probably should get that renewed, and did you also know that your vehicle has expired registration? Thought I'd done that already? Sorry. No, you're good, you're, uh, you're good, you're good. Um, also, I kind of noticed I'm kind of smelling a little bit of alcohol coming from the vehicle, and you're kind of slurring your words a little bit. You haven't had a drink or anything that I have you? You had a few? Alrighty, do you mind submitting to a couple field sobriety tests for me? You're cool with that? Alrighty, go ahead, step out the vehicle for me. All right, go ahead. Come over here. No, don't open the freaking door. Follow me, man. I'll actually shut your door. All right, stand right over here for me. Alright, so this first test I'm going to conduct on you is a heel-to-toe heel -to -toe test. What you're going to end up doing is going to make 10 heel-to-toe steps in that direction, turn around, and then make 10 heel-to-toe steps back to my towards my direction. Alrighty? Go ahead and start whenever you want to. Go ahead and start whenever you want to. Alright. Alright, I believe you're having a lot of fun. Alright. Yeah, this is uh, definitely not going to turn out good for him. He's, yeah. You can look at his movements. He's really, like, jittery and can't do it. He's stopping. He can't do it. He's trying to turn back my way. He can't. You can see. He just told no. Failed. All right. Off balance. He's off balance and unsteady. All right, so this next one I got for you is going to be a little horizontal gaze test. You're going to look, go ahead and look here at my pen, move your, I'm going to move it, move with your eyes only, don't move your head for this one, just move your eyes, don't move your head, so jittery failed, alright, yeah, it's, I don't know why, but this thing is really glitching for me, alright man, come over here with me, I'm going to do one more test on you, it's going to be a standard breathalyzer test, come over here, to the back, to the rear of my vehicle for me, All right, stop right there. I'm gonna go search my uh, trunk here. I wish my freaking trunk would open when you search it. Like, it's kind of stupid. All right, so this last test I'm gonna go ahead and do is a standard if you press laser test. You're gonna go ahead and blow on this thing machine for me until, it, until you hear a beep. Just keep blowing until you hear the beep. All right, appreciate it. Point one two three. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So at this moment in time, go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back for me. Right now, you do have the right to remain silent if you can't assume be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one. Will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights, man? All right. So at this point in time, I'm going to be placing you under arrest for DUI, as well as I'm going to be citing you for the move over law, as well as driving on expired registration, expired insurance. Ready? You don't have anything on you. It's gonna poke me or stick me in the guns, knives, pocket knives, using those, anything like that, do you? You have some. All right. Well, go ahead and be honest with me right now. Be straight up with me, because if I find that I don't like surprises, man. So if I find it, it's gonna make it bad on you. All right. Go ahead and stand still. I'm just gonna pat you down real quick. All 
All right, so we got an empty bottle of piss wasser and a machete. All right, so at this point in time, you're also going to be uh, cited for open alcohol container on you, which was in the vehicle, so it's going to be on you. He does have a handgun permit, but he didn't have a handgun on him. And what's with the machete? You always carry it on you? All right, uh, that's kind of suspicious. Why do you always carry a machete on you, though? Self-defense. I mean, I don't think you really need a machete for self-defense, do you? Perhaps. All right, man. Go ahead and come with me. Come with me. I'm gonna put you in the back of my vehicle. What the hell? Right, I'm gonna open the door for you. The AC is on for you, so don't worry about that. All right. So at this point in time, do you have anything in that vehicle that I should know about? Perhaps. So you're gonna say the same thing that you said that was on your persons. Yes. All right. Well, if I find anything in that vehicle, it's going to be a lot worse on you. Do you realize that, right? Okay. All right, 241 State. I got one 1015 at this time. Show one. Uh, show me or uh, show me searching the vehicle. So he's going to go. He's going to be booked today for uh, driving on DUI. We almost got took out by that El Camino, which would have been very, very bad. Even though it's not like the standard ISP lighting setup, it still looks pretty damn good though. That Valor, I gotta say. I hate Valor light bars, but it looks good for ISP, honestly. That's correct. So a collection of car keys and a hatchet. Alrighty. 241 dispatch. 1051 of my 20. All right, so we have a hatchet and a machete, so. Dispatch calling unit 510. All right, so we had a hatchet, a machete, and a open bottle of piss wasser, so we're going to put that into evidence. Just so we can get some charges on him for possibly brandishing a weapon in public, even though it was in on his persons. Open bottle of piss wasser. And then I don't remember what the other thing was that was kind of like a caution, but it's still something that's not supposed to be good with us. So. Okay, so this fucking slow-mo thing's gonna happen. I don't understand it. I don't know what button it is. This really irritates me. But that's gonna go ahead and do for this episode, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did. Drop a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new and you enjoy the content. Make sure you check out the guys in that description below. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace out, everyone.